Do you want to boost your FPS and get zero input delay in every game you play? In this video, I'm showing you the ultimate Windows tweaks that actually work in 2025. From unlocking your CPU power to removing hidden lag, this step-by-step -step guide will make your PC feel brand new. So let's turn your setup into a gaming beast now. Step 1. Make Windows faster for better gaming performance. To help your Windows run smoother and faster while playing Fortnite or any other game, we need to turn off some of the fancy visual effects. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar and typing, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. When the option shows up, click on it. This will open a new window called Performance Options. In this window, select the option that says Adjust for Best Performance. This will automatically turn off all the animations and visual effects that Windows uses, freeing up more power for your games. If you still want Windows to look a bit nicer, you can turn these two options back on. Smooth edges of screen fonts, this makes text easier to read, and show thumbnails instead of icons. This helps you see previews of your images, videos. After making your selections, click apply to save the changes. Now switch to the advanced tab in the same window. Under processor scheduling, choose adjust for best performance of programs. This setting tells Windows to give more CPU power to your active programs like Fortnite instead of wasting it on background apps. Click OK to save and close everything. These changes will make your computer respond faster, reduce in-game lag, and allow Fortnite to run more smoothly. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Use Park Control to max out CPU performance for gaming. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make sure your CPU is always giving its best performance while you game, we'll use a free tool called Park Control. Download and install it, then open the program. You'll see different power plans available. Select the one named Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan forces your CPU to run at its full potential instead of slowing down to save power. Now it's time to change some important settings. Set both CPU Parking AC and CPU Parking DC to disabled. This means Windows will stop turning off CPU cores when you're plugged in or on battery. Then set Frequency Scaling AC and Frequency Scaling DC to disabled as well. Finally, set both minimum CPU and maximum CPU usage percentages to 100%. This ensures that your CPU always works at full speed during gaming sessions. Also, make sure the feature Bitsum Dynamic Boost is turned on. This helpful setting turns off unused CPU threads when you're doing light tasks, like browsing or watching YouTube, and turns them back on automatically when you're gaming. After setting everything, open Windows Power Options, choose Bitsum Highest Performance again to make it your active plan, and hit Apply. These settings will help your CPU deliver consistent and maximum performance, which means less stuttering and better FPS while gaming. Step 3. Use MSI Utility to make Windows hardware run smoother. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we'll improve how your computer's hardware talks to your CPU. This makes the whole system feel faster and more responsive. We'll use a tool called MSI Mode Utility. After downloading and opening it, you'll see a list of your hardware devices. Find your graphics card. It may be listed under NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. Check the box labeled MSI next to it. Then change Interrupt Priority to High. If you have a system with both a dedicated GPU and integrated graphics, like Intel HD, repeat the process for both devices. This tweak helps your graphics card communicate faster with the CPU, reducing latency between hardware and what you see on screen. After you've checked the boxes and set the priorities, click Apply and close the tool. This reduces input lag from your mouse and keyboard and makes your games feel smoother and more responsive overall. Step 4. Use ISLC to clean up memory and boost RAM for gaming. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your RAM memory work better during gaming, We'll use a program called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, ISLC. After installing and opening ISLC, look at the top where it shows your total memory in megabytes. Divide that number by 2 and type the result into the box that says free memory is lower than, for example. If it shows 16,000 megabytes, type in 8,000. If it shows 32,000 megabytes, type in 16,000. Next, turn on these two settings. Start ISLC Minimize Launch, ISLC on User Logon. This ensures that ISLC starts automatically every time you turn on your PC. On the right side, turn on Timer Resolution and set it to 0.5 RAW. This makes your RAM respond faster. 
Set the polling rate to 1000 to end antonyms for newer PCs, or 1000 to end antonyms for older ones. Now click Stop, then click Start, and finally hit Purge Standby List to clear up unused memory. This helps free up RAM, reduces lag, and improves performance in games like Fortnite by preventing FPS drops and memory-related stutters. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the GearUp Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the GearUp Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Speed up Windows, using Ultimate Windows Tweaker for gaming. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. We'll now use Ultimate Windows Tweaker, a small but powerful tool that helps you turn off background features that slow down your PC. Open the app and go to the Performance section. Turn on every tweak listed here, including Turn off smooth scrolling, turn off window animations, turn on auto restart after system crashes, turn off Microsoft Edge tab, preloading. These options stop Windows from doing extra visual work and keep your PC running lean and fast. Now switch to the Services tab. Disable unnecessary services like Tablet Input Service, only needed for touchscreen devices. Windows Security Center Service, only if you're using another antivirus. Prefetch Service, which can slow performance over time. Next, go to the Additional section and enable all the network tweaks, such as Enable Onboard Network Adapter Processor. Block anonymous access, disable recent shares, turn off default admin disk driver share server. Hide your PC from the network. These tweaks reduce unnecessary background network activity that can steal CPU and internet bandwidth. After you're done, click apply tweaks, then restart your PC. Once your system boots back up, you'll notice faster loading times, quicker responses, and a smoother gaming experience. Step 6. Fix keyboard input delay using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter for gaming input lag can mess up your performance in fast-paced games. To fix that, we'll use a small tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the app after installing it. You'll see a few settings that control how your keyboard responds to key presses. Change them like this. Ignore. Under. Set to 0 milliseconds. This removes any delay before detecting key presses. Repeat delay. Set to 130 milliseconds. This controls how quickly a key starts repeating. Repeat rate. Set to 10 milliseconds. This makes repeated key actions happen faster. Now check the small box to enable filter keys and click OK to save the settings. These changes make your keyboard react almost instantly, which is very useful for shooting, building, or reacting quickly in Fortnite or any fast action game. This simple tweak can make a noticeable difference in how responsive your controls feel. Step 7. Turn on all CPU cores for better speed and performance. Sometimes your PC doesn't use all its CPU cores by default. Press the Windows key and type System Configuration into the search bar. Click on it, then go to the Boot tab and click Advanced Options. In the pop-up window, check the box next to Number of Processors. Click the drop-down menu and choose the highest number listed. This is the total number of cores your CPU has. Click OK, then Apply, and close the windows. This setting will make your PC use its full CPU power right from startup, giving games like Fortnite more processing strength, faster load times, and better performance, especially on mid- or low-end systems. If this full guide helped you optimize your PC for gaming, reduce lag, or boost your Fortnite performance, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this guide with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.